contingency plan. You do. You do. You so. always need a t- contingency plan for if you're planning outdoors. Even if you've checked the farmer's almanac and it's not going to rain on your wedding day, you should be prepared. <laughs> yeah. So how, you know, <laughs> yes, I mean, that's my question really is like, what, what would you plan there? Have a plan B, period. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so when you're viewing your venue, you want to see, you want to go ahead and find out like, what are my backup plans in this space? A lot of times a venue will say, oh, your backup plan is inside. We have a separate room. Maybe it's not your favorite room, but it's good to know you have a backup plan. Is the backup plan you have to have the guests sit at their reception tables and you're getting married on the dance floor? Is the reception plan that they're willing to flip the space during cocktail hour? Is the reception plan you need it or, you know, backup plan you need a tent? So what are those backup plan options when you're viewing the venue before you book, before you commit to that ceremony? Um, Now, if you've already booked, don't freak out. (laughs) Um, But just make sure that, you know, you go to your venue and take a look and figure out what is that contingency plan if it starts raining. If it's, and I think you need to define rain too. Like if it's drizzling, are you okay with like having a bunch of umbrellas and letting guests sit right. in the rain, knowing that you and your bridal party are probably going to get, you know, a little bit wet or like, are you talking like if there's even a drizzle, you want to be inside. So like, that's the kind of stuff you want to define too. Right. I think that's great. And it's, you know, what happens if, you know, if it's much colder than you thought you can rent heaters or if it's super cold, I'm sorry, if it's, if it's, um, if it's much colder or it's much hotter, like what are some of those things that you would do? So if it's cold, you, you can rent heaters if you're in an enclosed area, like a tent or uh, actually you can't have a like the propane ones. You can't have a a heater under the tent, but like you can rent a heater. You Um, can't have a heater under a tent. Are you sure? It depends. Like those, one, like those like, um, it depends. space heater. It depends on your rental company. I'm calling you out on that. It depends on your rental company. Mm, Um, you really shouldn't though. Um, you know, you can offer blankets and wraps and different things like that. If it's cold, um, if it's hot, then, um, you can have like little fans or like those little misters. Um, a lot of people have like programs that they can like make into fans. Mm -hmm. Sunscreen. You should make sure you have sunscreen in your like bathroom baskets or. Oh, interesting. At the front. Yeah. Or if you're under a clear tent, make sure you have sunscreen. Um, you get, you'll get cooked under there. Interesting. Yeah. Never thought about that. Yeah. You don't want to, you don't want a clear tent in the middle of the summer. Yeah. Um, bug spray if you're in the South and have Mm -hmm. a lot of bugs. Um, you could even like spray the area beforehand. Um, it's not going to do everything, but you could spray like some of the seats and stuff like that. If you have a lot of bugs, it's not going to completely get rid of them, but it could help. Hmm. Yeah, things to think about. Yeah, that's great. It also depends, like, what we're talking about outside. Are you talking about, like, you're on a farm? Are you talking about, like, you're in a garden in the center of the city? You're probably going to have two different experiences, too. Right. 